मैं संदीप सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ श्री गुरु रामदास फार्मेसी कॉलेज मंदिर अमृतसर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर लेक्चर ऑन फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन यू शुड नो अबाउट व्हाट इज फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री सो फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री इज वन ऑफ द ब्रांचेस ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल साइंस द डील्स विद द study of chemistry of drug substances this branch also studied pharmacological action also and the drug analysis standardization of pharmaceuticals also so this is all about pharmacological chemistry next is pharmacopoeia actually uh, the word pharmacopoeia is derived from a greek word pharmacopoeia which means drug or medicine so this pharmacopoeia word is derived right from greek word pharmakon which means drug or medicine or poeia means to make so the whole meaning is to make medicine or drug from this word pharmacopoeia so pharmacopoeia is what it is a official publication published by the government authority uh, that provide information about the quality of the drug or standard of the drug or medicinal substances uh, till now the government of india ministry of health and family planning government of india has published eight editions of indian pharmacopoeia first edition was published in 1955 then second 1966 4 by 96 5th of the year 2007 then 6 2018 7 2014 and 8th edition is 2018 so let's start uh, what we will study under the pharmacopoeia first topic is monograph what is monograph actually before i start the monograph you should know what are official substances official substances are those drugs or compounds that are included in the monograph of the latest edition of pharmacopoeia again i must be official substances are those the drugs or substances which are included in the monograph of the latest edition of the pharmacopoeia are official substances and the section dealing with the official drug in detail is called monograph then under monograph first is title title means the approved name of the drug means approved name of the drug or compound that comes under title uh, even chemical names has also been included in the monograph next is description this description it gives the physical description of the drug like whether it is crystalline or amorphous its color order taste then its identification identification we will do uh, identity test like qualitative test so uh, examples are like color reactions precipitation reactions gas evolution are the test we will do for identification next point is minimum standard of purity means there is a upper limit of purity and lower limit of purity this minimum standard of purity means the range within the upper and lower means intermediate level of purity Check it. Next is dosage. Uh, dosage, dose and mode of administration is already given in the under the monograph. But if it is not stated, then the average of quantities that is suitable for adults is given. Next is solubility. Uh, you can see the chart regarding solubility. In order to measure the solubility, the chart is there. Here it is mentioned that approximately solvent value means if the solvent volume is constant like thousand ml, so thousand ml in so thousand ml of solvent will dissolve one gram of solute. So if it dissolve less than one gram of solute in thousand ml, then it is very soluble. If one to ten gram of solute, then it is very soluble. If ten to thirty gram of solute you dissolve in constant value of solvent, then soluble. Then sparingly soluble, slightly so, uh, soluble, very slightly soluble. And at the end, if the 10,000 gram solute you dissolve in the same quantity of solvent, then it is insoluble. Now next is storage. So uh, it is a very important uh, point because uh, drug need to be stored under the certain conditions so that it will uh, it will not get uh, 
contaminated or deteriorated. So conditions for storage are these. If the drug is stored between 2 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius, then we will say it is uh, it, it is stored under cold conditions. If the drug is stored between 8 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius, then we will say that the drug is stored in cool condition. If the drug is stored between 30 degrees Celsius to 8, 40 degrees Celsius, then it is stored under warm condition. And excessive heat is there if the drug is stored above 40 degrees Celsius. Next is container. You already know that container is a device that holds the drug. So we always keep that in mind that uh, the container should not uh, interact physically or chemically with the drug placed in it so that it will not alter the strength, strength quality, purity of the drug. So uh, the container, depending on the chemicals we include in the container, the container should be light resistant, well closed tightly closed and even the hermetically sealed container. So next is labeling. Uh, we will label the drug according to the Drug and Cosmetic Act. Next is limit of impurities. In this limit of impurities we will perform a limit test. Limit test is actually designed to identify the small quantity of impurities or to control the small quantity of impurity. I mean to say that by performing this limit test you will come to know, you will find out whether the impurity is within the limit or not. Next is the physical constants. Physical constant is also an important factor. These are the characteristic properties uh, that will determine, uh, that are useful for the identification and maintenance of the standards of purity. So physical constants like the melting point, boiling point, particle size, viscosity, etc. will check under this. Then the last uh, factor which comes under the monograph that is the quantitative assay. Quantitative you should know first about the assay. Assay means uh, we determine the quantitative determining. We actually we uh, if we have a official drug, then what we will do? We will we will determine the quantity of the active ingredient of the official drug. So this is called assay. Assay means when we determine the quantity of the active ingredient of the official drug and uh, under the quantitative assay we will uh, there are so many methods uh, for this uh, in order to perform this quantitative assay there are chemical methods also under the chemical methods uh, there, are, there is volumetric, gravimetric and gasometric methods and second methods are like instrumental methods we use instrument third method is microbiological methods uh, by the using of microorganisms, then the fourth is biological methods. So these are four methods under the quantitative assays. So this is all about pharmaceutical chemistry. I told you the demo of pharmaceutical chemistry. First the definition, then the pharmacopoeia, then what comes